Uh, Jay Bond reports live. I am here on the Silo Art Trail yet again for another day. I'm in a town called Rosebury. Man, the flies are bad. But the blink and the miss town, there's really nothing to it. And it's quite devastating because you've got these great silos painted depicting the local artists and there's nothing in town. There's a sunset gallery, which across the Mallee is quite stunning apparently, but of course, I'm here at 10 o'clock in the morning with the flies and uh, here I am. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Rosebury silos and I'll show you that shortly. So this was finished in 2017. Kathy Ann, which is the artist, depicts the local and the region's past, present and the future. The silo on the left, there are two silos up there. One is a female, one is a male. Whew, and these flies are bad. The silo on the left, which is the girl, captures the grit, tenacity and character of the region's young female farmers who regularly face drought, fires and other hardships living and working in working in the Win Mira Mallee region. She's in her work shirt and jeans and turned down cowboy boots. The strong female sheep farmer symbolises the future. Oh man, these flies are bad. The silo on the right portrays the quiet moment between dear friends, a man and his horse. A horseman appears in an Akubra hat, bog boots and oilskin vest, common attire for the Wimera Mali farmers. Both man and horse are relaxed, facing downward, indicating their mutual trust and genuine love and connection. Wow, so I'm just gonna take you up here. Oh, my dog's roaming somewhere. Wow, this is actually probably, oh, the way, yeah. Oh, it's bad, the flies are bad. Like you think you're back in burp, they're that bad. <laughs> that you just stand in awe of the, the, of the artists that create these murals anyway Joe Bond checking out Rosebury silos